and good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Joyce All Knowing Tarot here. Y'all, my friends, listen. I, do you remember when I came and I did the last tape? I think it was a little more than a week ago, right? And I was saying I wasn't feeling really good, yada yada, a little cold going on. Do you remember that? Cha. I had the C and the 1 and the 9. Yes, I did. I really did. It was out of the blue. You know, it, well, I had a cold. But then, boom, it just, yeah. Yes. So, I've been under the bed. I've been so sick. I am getting energy more and more. In fact, I was going to make this video yesterday. It took every bit of energy I could could to try to make a video and the energy was so low I said no I'm not I'm no mm -mm, this is not gonna work I will give it another try today um I hope everybody is doing fantastic please do not shoot the messenger uh we put a post up about funny because I saw it in three places unless I had a fever dream that she got off and I know she was getting off so we're just gonna we're gonna let it ride. <laughs> we're gonna let it ride. Anyway, uh, yeah. So you know what? I'm here to just talk about a few things. I'm really just kicking it because I want to. I miss you guys. I want to let you know I'm here. I'm still doing well. Um, I don't have any one subject in mind. Uh, I was thinking about doing a live tomorrow and just answer your questions, but that takes a lot of energy. So I'm not quite up to that yet. So let's talk just talk about some things in general. Can we talk about first and foremost most your boy is selling uh sneakers, tennis shoes. We used to call them tennis shoes when I was growing up. Did you see them suckers? There is the gold pair, right? The gold standard, because that goes with his nineteen eighties aesthetic. High tops. Uh those I think uh Three ninety nine is how much they go for. Three ninety nine a pair. They made a thousand. Everyone rushed to get them. He said they sold out, but you know he lies. So who knows what if that's true or not? However, here's the truth of it: there are no sneakers. That's a promise to get sneakers. Promise that they will come, hopefully in July. But there is none there yet, anyways. Then there's a, a red pair. Let's say there's a red pair and then a white pair. But listen to this. I I was listening to a little clip of, I think it was on Fox News, and some guest was on there, and he was saying, oh, well, you know, Trump is a marketing genius. You know, he made those, those uh, shoes, the blacks, the blacks. <laughs> they love to say that shit. The blacks are going to like them, especially those that, that live in the... Uh, in the hood, they they love their tennis shoes, and they're really gonna get with these. Like, wow. Let's be clear. I don't care, black, white, Asian, Latino, and everything. All of all, everything. No one collective people is a monolith. Okay, none. Everybody that has more melanin in their skin than others does not necessarily like tennis shoes and they live for that. Or they want tennis shoe collections. That is a falsehood. Please don't believe that mess. It's sad. And then he was in South Carolina giving another speech, rally speech. And he's like, oh, there's so many lights in here. It's so dark in here. All I can see here are black eyes. <laughs> You know, it was a, a, a conference, a Negro conference that he was at. Not funny. Not at all. Here, this is a thing I, I want y'all to understand. This man is out of gas. He's out of gas. He's out of money. Uh, he's getting close to being out of time. All good things or bad things come to an end. Everything changes. Everything always does. There is no way in hell he's going to be president. I'm going to tell you why. Not only has he uh, just sort of isolated, uh, you know, obviously Democratic votes, but 
what he's not considering. My camera just went. What he's not considering is the independent voter. The independent voter who does not decide that they're on a particular party, but who goes with the best. Those are the people, to me, that are, are more so informed than others. They don't just don't run on party lines. They look for those people who are bringing what's important to themselves, their family, the country, the whatever, their policies, okay? We don't know what this guy's policies are. The policies he spoke on are, you know, communist style or, or fascist style, whatever you want to call it. You have, he's is isol, isolating, cutting off this whole group of people that are listening to him and saying no. Mm -mm. And I'm going to tell you, all you got to watch is see. You look at the house. They got like 20 some people, Republicans, who are leaving. They don't want to have anything to do with the MAGA foolishness, with Mike Johnson, uh, MGT, uh, none of that, none of that. So, yeah, he's cutting those people off. He can't possibly win. He has nothing else to say. He's lost hope in himself. I don't care. He's lost hope in himself. You ever, you ever see some people that's going to fight, right? Or maybe it's you that's in the fight. And one one chick is coming and she's talking all loud. It's got to get loud, right? It's got to be loud and talking tough and what they going to do and how I'm going to get you and I'm which way, which, every which way I'm going to knock you out and everything else, right? They're doing all this selling wolf cookies. And then you walk in quiet, ready to, to do battle. And then you whoop their butt. Well, it's the same thing. He's loud, obnoxious. For no reason. He's completely unintelligent. And now the the dementia, the projection that he does is absolutely ridiculous. He's going to jail. He's going to jail or at least house arrest. But what he won't be doing is serving in office. Mm -mm, no. He doesn't have the capability anyways. He doesn't really want to do it. I tell you that all the time. He just kind of wants to win. He's got people pushing him up, pushing behind him, and making him believe that he has the capability to. And child, he do not. He does it. And he knows he does it. That's why his family is, is walked away from all of that. Because they know that he can't do it. But they know he's not going to listen to anything that they say. Mm-mm. No. No. Um, so Marjorie Taylor Greene has got to pay that $100,000. So, when everyone else was supposed to be wearing masks on the floor, she said, I'm not wearing no mask. I'm not getting no vaccine. Mm -hmm. She should have got this. She should have got this, baby. Then you would have put on a mask and everything else. Trust and believe that. Nevertheless, she takes it to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court says, no. Go pay your money and sit yourself down. You can afford it. Mm -hmm. Supreme Court also told the Sidney Powell folks, the co-conspirators, right? No, we're not uh, blocking you from being taken to the full extent of the law down there in Georgia for voter fraud. No, that's happening to you. Goodbye. They're not dealing with that either. They tell you everything that you need to know. Tells you everything you need to know about the Supreme Court. I've been telling y'all that the Supreme Court is going to side with Colorado. Colorados are originalists. They believe in standing by the Constitution in the way that it was written. Supreme Court is the same. People miss. Yes, he incited an insurrection. Okay. But he also aided and abetted that. When he told everybody when he felt like it, okay, I love you guys. I love the support. Thank you for coming down. Da, 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 da. When he was in that Rose Garden, that's what he was doing. That's what he was doing. But he too dumb to know any better. He don't know law. He doesn't know the Constitution. That's what folks get when they have a businessman up there. Okay, a businessman. But Trump, you knew about Trump back when I knew about Trump when he wasn't messed back in the 80s. Back in the 80s when I knew that he wasn't anything. Mm hmm. Let me see what else I got up in here. 
Yes, yeah, so uh, we've got uh, the Supreme Court. I know which way they're gonna pull. I mean, I mean, Jack Smith knows. Jack, excuse me if I'm slower. I'm I'm trying to heal. Excuse me if I, I sound a little bit slower. My mind's not clicking like that. Takes time, but Jack Smith knows. If Jack Smith knows, you ought to know how that's going to go. Um, he's lost all hope. Let me just say, Trump has lost all hope. There's nobody, nobody's really there for him. Not that I think they should be. He's he's a mean, he's a mean person. One of them mean old men, okay? If he was living an ordinary life, he'd be trying to keep kids off his grass, okay? That's him. In everybody's business, being a Karen or a Ken, coming to your door about whatever, you got the Amazon trucks coming down here too much. Rah, 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 rah. Yeah, he's a mean old man. That's it and that's all. He has nothing else to even offer. All he ever had anyways was a little wit, a little charm. I'm not going to take that from him. But he didn't have experience. He had nothing. Let's talk about Biden. Biden and his son Hunter who they wanted to impeach. And then they star witness. <sighs> Worked for the Russian government, child. Confessed everything. He said he made everything up. Everything was a lie. Everything was a lie. Comer and Jim Jordan still wanted to try to stand on that. We're still, we're, it's, we still, we still got evidence. We got evidence. Pull it out your butt. You don't have no evidence on nothing. There's nothing. That impeach, impeachment fell to the ground. You Republicans spent all this time not taking care of anything but bowing to the knee of somebody who is not president, who is not emperor, who, as far as I know, you don't owe anything to. It's this desire for power that will cause you to continue doing what you were doing and then not being able to come in front of your own constituents and say hey my bad this guy told me such and such a thing my bad that might make a difference for you mm -mm. no no way you got plotting and planning and working together and just causing unnecessary drama. You were trying to be bullies. You were going to be bullies. You let some fool hype you up on some mess and you had no documented proof. Same thing they trying to do to Fani. The same thing. Trying to come up with some stuff. That's nothing. Trying to pull something out of the air. Now I'm seeing that she wants to know where her phone records came from. Was that Donald Trump doing that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But y'all got a wake-up call. Y'all Republicans were given the wake-up call that <laughs> you didn't ask for. Uh, it's not going to change you, though. It's not going to change you. You are stuck in your positions. You are stuck in... This party means more than my dignity, my self-esteem, my family, the people I serve in my community. None of that means nothing to you. It's the desire to be right for me. If you're wrong, you're wrong. You know, just like my final announcement. I know that she's going to come out of this. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, listen to some strange, some strange things. I think that if some of these people fall away, including Mike Johnson, you all could recapture your party. Your party is all but gone. And it's almost as if you don't realize that the party is over. And yeah, here you are. Here you are. 
trying to put together something that is that is gone and that is destroyed. Yeah, you know, those are the things I wanted to just kick it with you about. The Supreme Court, let me just say this because I meant to and I forgot. The Supreme Court, like I said, is an original, okay? Now you can say to me, well, Donald Trump put those people on the court. So what? So what? You can't do anything to them. That's a forever job. That's a forever job. They don't want to go down in history on the wrong side of it. Mm -mm. Not at all. You're talking about a real legacy. Okay, somebody was a senator from your state. whoop de doo 10 years from now, 20 years from now, nobody will even know them. But the Supreme Court, they will know forever. They don't want to be on the wrong side of that. They could care less about that. Now, do you have some that play dirty and will continue to? Yes. Mm -hmm. You do. You have those Thomas, Clarence Thomas types that like this stuff. But I think them uh, trying to hold themselves accountable ethically, this, this is the test. They're going to test themselves. It's not us testing them. They're testing themselves. Are we who we say we are? Are we standing on business like we're supposed to do? Yeah. And they will stand on business. They don't want to have to. They don't want to have to. Because this is all setting precedent. They should be looking at this proudly as, as the ability to say this Supreme Court put this in place on this date and this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, without the Supreme Court playing in a fair, just way, our country continues to collapse. It is through these justices that we hold the balance of fairness and equity, okay? Mm -hmm. You may not like this, all their decisions. Their decisions may not be your favor, especially if you look at Roe versus Wade where they pushed it down to the states to decide and you're in a sucky state. Um, and I like, you may not like that. I get it. But at the same time, they're going to do what's the right thing for this country. Uh, there's no one person that can have immunity. Okay. That's insane. That's their, that's their feeling. I can feel that. That's insane. No one can have complete and total immunity of anything. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to, Trump that is, pay that fine he owes that New York fine. But Ingrid said, are you paying that? Nah, I'm not, not delaying that. We haven't delayed enough. You haven't played these games enough. You see, time's up for all those games. When he had the best of, of everything and the opportunity to live this abundant lifestyle and to sort of get out of jail free energy, he didn't use it for anything good. So now all the good things come to an end. Anyways, guys, you guys have a wonderful uh, weekend. Continue putting your prayers on me, keeping me strong, enriching me, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye now.